my name is Sherman Bianca and I'm presenting you module 4, Organizing Teamwork, from Erasmus Plus project Let's Play Greener. Introduction. When you look at video game development, the first thing that is obvious is the variety of disciplines involved. Programming, graphics, writing, etc. In case of both amateur and professional development, it is important to remain aware of the necessary skills and tools to master. In this module, I suggest you that you take a look at the profiles necessary for the successful development of a video game. We will see how members of the same team are led to collaborate despite their differences. I will work to make these uh, practices accessible to a school audience and through media education. Educational objectives, the profiles necessary for the development of a video game and the implementation of teamwork. A democratic practice. The development of video games has become very popular over the last 20 years, thanks in particular to what is called the game engine. These software programs allow you to integrate images and sounds, create scenes and code behaviors, in short, create a video game. There are several types of them. Among the most accessible engines in an educational setting is Scratch, which requires no code skills. Unity 3D and Unreal Engine are the game engines praised by video game developers, but their handling requires much more involvement. In between, you will find many variations. To make your choice, consider targeting your expectations, free or paid, 2D or 3D, and above all, with or without code. Then, I advise you to choose a game engine supported by a large community. In case of problems, you will appreciate finding an online solution and easy to access tutorials. If you are embarking on the development of a video game with your students, the game engine must be placed at the heart of your organization. From the beginning, your entire class must be trained and familiar with the software environment. In this way, all project participants will be aware of the technical constraints and be respected. The development team. In your development team, you will need programmers who are comfortable with the game engine. They, call, they code all possible interactions in the game, from the movements of the player character to the loading of screens and victory conditions. Logical thinking and problem solving are their main assets. Afterwards, it will be necessary to set up a team of game designers. Their main mission is to put themselves in the player's shoes and imagine the experience they will have while playing their game. As tools, they use paper, word processing and drawing diagrams. They need a good ability to express themselves, to synthesize and conceptualize. The graphic designers take care of the appearance of the game, uh, such as drawing, uh, the set, characters and navigation buttons. Uh, they define the artistic direction of the game uh, and they decide whether the game, will, the game will be in 2D or 3D, black and white, pixel art or watercolor. You need a sense of aesthetics, creativity and an interest in drawing. Finally, one or two students take care of the sound design in the game. They compose the background music, its variations as the mood changes and the sound effects that accompany the movements of the character player. In this position, you need a musician's talent, ingenuity and a desire to isolate yourself with a headset on your ears. Each member of a development team acts in their respective field. A programmer doesn't need to know what a graphic designer does. However, to achieve a coherent and enjoyable result, it is necessary for everyone to participate in achieving a common vision. This is where the game design document comes in. It includes the game category, the narrative universe, the target audience and the final medium. Then comes the game loop and the three C's, which consist of the camera view, the player character and the game controls. This document specifies the artistic direction and the works that serve as a reference. In the case of a serious game, the educational objectives must be also indicated. Each game is different and all this information will not be of equal importance from one to another. In all cases, the role of the game design document is to record decisions made about the creative direction of the game. Its content should be as clear, precise and detailed as possible. 
Game designers are generally the guardians of it. This document does not describe in which order to create the game components. In professional development, project managers are responsible for keeping everyone busy and prioritizing tasks. They have an overview and a sense of organization that you will be able to provide in a classroom setting. Conclusion The interest in uh, developing a video game in the classroom comes mainly from the diversity of the profiles involved and the technicality required. In this type of project, students develop uh, valuable human, creative and technical skills in a context of necessary collaboration. To keep everyone motivated and involved, it is important that each student has a role that suits them and a clear share of responsibility within the team. If everyone knows what they are doing and why, then you will have put all the chances on your side.